Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Skyrim. Hope you guys are doing great today. Uh, today, we are going to be doing one of two things. Uh, we might get to the second one. One, we need to go back and tell Serena's mother what happened to Harkin. Harkin? Harkon? Harkin, right? Um, so let's go back and do that. Then, next, uh, I, next, what I'd like to do, and what the community has kind of made a decision on doing, uh, is we're going to be continuing the Dragonborn quest line. Uh, if you guys haven't watched those episodes, uh, I have gone and tried to do them. <laughs> it was kind of a mistake. Which is in uh, Soltham, am I saying that right? Uh, where we needed to go in that area. And uh, I, I found I was just way too underleveled and undergeared to go any further. So I made the decision that we are going to go. Well, you guys made the decision. We're going to go do that. But first, we're going to go and tell. Serena, or, uh, Serana, sorry, Serana's mother, uh, that we're all good to go. Now, I think she has a dialogue option, and what let's now? go see. Let's tell your mother about Harkon. Oh, this is a, oh. That was apparently an AFT, uh, advanced follower tweak. <laughs> it kind of shot us here. Okay, I was not expecting that. I did not think it was going to teleport us. But it is what it is. We are here. <laughs> let's go ahead and... Something on your mind. Let's what is it? get some uh, interesting things to tell you. Uh, I could help. I could use help with crystals around here. Or uh, will I be able to safely revisit the Soul Stern, which we already know, and Harkon is dead. Harkon is dead, so let's tell her. What? Are you certain? Uh, he died by my hand. Then I see nothing preventing my return to Tamriel. Allow me to gather some of my things, and I'll head back to Castle Volkahar. And from the bottom of my heart, I thank you. Uh, promise me one thing, that you will not just, like, randomly try to kill people and steal their souls and give them to Daedric. Um, whatever they are. I'll return to Castle Volga. Okay. As soon as I'm finished I was hoping gathering. it wouldn't smell this bad. Uh, all right. So I guess that's it. Why don't we it's ask her about a cure? Have you thought about getting cured of vampirism? Whatever they call it. You brought that up before. I think I was a little short with you. Uh, I shouldn't have brought it up again. This matters to me. So I could convert her away from it. I don't know if that's probably a good thing or a bad thing. I kind of like that she has those abilities um, right now. But maybe if she becomes a normal, like if the steward somewhere, we find someone else to take her place. Maybe we'll maybe we'll convince her. Okay, um, shouldn't have brought up again. Probably not. Yeah, she's that's a little bit of a sore spot for her. Okay, now we. <laughs> Okay, we got to get out of here. Uh, I don't think I can just fast travel, can I? No, 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 no. We have to get our way out of here now. Great. Is there not, like, a fast travel point in here? That goes to the boneyard. That's the way out, right? Oh, also, while we're making the trip here, I could probably call my trusty steed here. Oh, did I? <laughs> yeah, that was... Was it the ground off or something? And I can't do it now. Okay. That sucks. What... I was 
trying to tell you is that I have upgraded some of my armor. Uh, well, I shouldn't say my armor. I just my boots and I can't upgrade anything else because they're full up. Uh, I completely upgraded them uh, fully as, as far as I can go. Uh, while I was working on some things in between episodes, I did. Oh, please tell me that's the way out. Someone attacking me. Because I don't want to be lost in here. Um. I lost my train of thought. Oh. I do have a shield. Uh, I wanted it out. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Wrong button. Come on, boys. Yeah, hit it. Come on, hit it. Someone says this gets charged up really cool. So, uh, we don't have blocking up far anyways. Oh. Blowing. Oh, never mind. This guy was... But I thought, you know, I'd give it a shot. I mean, why not? Uh, I thought this was the way out, and apparently it's not. Is that... Ouch. It doesn't block against magic. Uh, also, I had a very, very helpful uh, tip. I changed my FOV. Uh, you notice that it maybe is a little bit larger now, which has helped out quite a bit. Seeing more of the screen. Uh, I Man, I get so lost here. Wait. Nope, those towers... Can't go that way. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm lost. How do I get out? All right, let me find my way out, and then we'll, we'll start moving forward. But yeah, I, uh, I actually did level up uh, a little bit, and I did put it into blacksmithing, so... We're moving our way towards the Daedric blacksmithing because uh, that's what I I want to get into. Oh my goodness, I am I am completely lost. Fantastic in Toronto over here. I think so. Okay, I'll see you guys back in a bit. All right, we found our way out. Uh, I just remembered I just had to go straight out the door, basically. Uh, from the castle where we had, um... Grana's mother. Uh, while I was fighting, I actually, uh, my one-handed is now 100%. It might take decades to restore oh. the castle to its former glory. But I appear... What? Well, I wanted to hear that! I think she showed up quicker than she... Oh, boy. There we go. That was weird. Whoa. Did she fix some things up in here? Yeah, she's got this all fixed up. Lecture of strength, stamina. Okay, let's talk to her. It might take decades to restore the castle to its former glory. But I appear to have plenty of time. Can you give me blood cursed arrows? I'm sorry. I don't feel comfortable giving them to you. I understand what you did for my family. But the prophecy never sat well with me, and I don't want to be a part of it. I'm sorry. What will you do now? Well, I think it's time I got back to my work as an alchemist. The Soul Cairn will offer a unique opportunity to continue my studies, and I intend to complete my research. In the meantime, 
If there are any potions you might need, feel free to help yourself. Uh, will I be able to revisit, safely revisit the Soul Cern? I Yeah, I should be able to. I have no problem. As you've been traveling in the Soul Cairn, your body has become attuned to it. Let's just say a tiny part of you rubbed off on it, and in its place, a bit of the Soul Cairn filled the void. You should find no difficulty using the portal any longer. Okay. So, she apparently has potions here on the table. Might as well grab some ingredients. What else do you have down here? And she has a lot of Little alchemy lab. Uh, she has lots of books. We'll come back. For sure. Okay, someone said there's a quick exit. Oh, yeah, balcony. Duh. Go on the balcony, I can fast travel. This must be that beautiful Skyrim weather I've always heard about. Is there anything over here? No. Oh, cool. Okay. So we can fast travel out of here. Change that. Oh, and I can fast travel to the balcony. Ah, uh, that's what someone was telling me. Ah, uh, thank you so much. Okay, so. We are now going to be heading and working on the Dragonborn quest line. Um, if you're looking for passage, talk to Captain Gallant. We are, while we, while we work on it though, we're going to be exploring and talking to people here. Uh, we're going to take a look at this area here and see about, um, just, just get familiar with it because I think we're going to be in this area for a little bit. Oh, that's not what I want to do. I just wanted to kind of look at the map. So we got a few... Oh, you know what? We need to go there for Serene's uh, quest for the other arrows, or the bolts. Maybe we'll swing over there first. Why don't we? Let's let's um well, let's explore uh, Raven Rock, and then we're gonna go over here and grab that before we move on. But. Uh, like I was saying, we're going to be mainly kind of exploring through the Dragonborn, so we're not going to rush this. We're not going to just go straight through. He's never been the same since my mother died. I don't think he ever wants me to feel the pain he suffers. At some point, you're going to have to choose. No matter the outcome, I'll always respect your decision. Modin Veleth. Captain of the Redoran Guard at your service. Uh, what are these ash spawn? What are these ash spawn? No one knows, really. Superstitious folks say they're the risen forms of those that died long ago. But I'm not so certain. They started attacking the bulwark a few weeks ago. My men were able to kill them, but they keep coming back. How often do they attack? We've had two other assaults on the bulwark, at different spots on the wall. I know it sounds crazy, but it's almost like they're becoming more organized and probing it for weaknesses. You suspect there's a motivation to their attacks? Exactly. Something has to be directing them against us, and we need to find out who or what it is. They all started moving. I thought something was going on. Uh, do you know someone called Mir... Mirik? Uh, I might know someone. Or oh, maybe not. I can't remember. Oh, that's right. Everybody doesn't, they can't remember the person. Uh, just tell me if you know him. I, I can't. I just can't be sure. I think maybe he had something to do with a temple. A, a, a temple here on the island. Does that help? Okay, cool. Be careful. This General Curious sounds out of his mind. 
Your visit here will be tolerated as long as you abide by our laws. Otherwise, you'll answer to the Redoran Guard. Who are I'm you? I've sworn to keep Counselor Morvane safe, and I intend to take that oath to the grave. Uh, we have talked to him before early on when we were first here. Uh, you know who uh, Merrick is? I, I'm unsure. I swear I know the name, but I cannot place it. Can you tell me anything about him? I don't think so. I'm not... The, the name has something to do with the... Earthstone, I think. I've gotten a report that you've been I'm harassing sure some of what? the townsfolk. Is this true? Remember. Oh, come on. Watching. You know me, Captain Bella. I work My for hands are clean. You've got a problem. See if they stay that him. way. Or else Mobile I'll send you back to Skyrim in a crate. Outlanders. You understand? Look somewhere else. Yes, sir. Captain Bellet, sir. I'll give you this warning only once. Stay out of my way, and we'll do just fine. You know someone called Mirik? No. Wait, I recognize the name, but I'm not sure why. Tell me whatever you can. I don't know. I feel strange just thinking about it. A temple, maybe. Here on the island, uh, something about a temple. Okay. Until next time. Look, if you're looking for any exotic ingredients, just ask. I might have what you need. Let's see. Uh, can you train me in alchemy? I think I can teach you a thing or two. Ah, perfect. Oh, and it's really cheap, too. Let's train it all up. We got enough money. Uh, where did you learn your alchemy skills? After we left Morrowind, we found ourselves in Skyrim. We wandered around a bit and ended up in Morthal, where we took a temporary residence with Lami, the town's alchemist. I was fascinated by her work. And over a period of a few years, she taught me quite a bit. Why'd you me, uh, leave Morthal? It wasn't long before we became homesick. We were the only Dunmer in Morthal. When word reached us that a settlement of Dunmer was forming on Solstein, we were thrilled. It's been difficult, but I'm not regretting it one bit. In fact, I'm glad we've been able to stay and help. Uh, how has Raven Rock needed your uh, needed your help? As you can imagine, the eruption of the Red Mountain took an awful toll on Solstein. Hunting for game has been scarce, and the waters are apparently too tainted for fishing. According to Counselor Morvane, my husband's been Raven Rock's most important food source for decades. Uh, you're selling quite a few exotic ingredients. Yes, I'm proud to say that I grow or harvest most of it myself. I only wish I had a better source for Netch Jelly. Those creatures are difficult to track down since it's so dangerous beyond the bulwark. Uh, I could gather some for you. That would be splendid. I'd be more than happy to give you something for the effort. Very cool. Okay, uh, do you know someone called Mirik? I don't think so. Though it sounds like a name I've heard before. Can you tell me anything about him? I hear that name, and I see a temple here on Solstein. What could that mean? Mmm. Careful with those netches. They may look tame, but they can seriously hurt you when threatened. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go talk to the blacksmith here. Find my pickaxe yet? No. Um, let's see here. What's an ancient Nordic uh, pickaxe? It's the only tool tough enough to crack Stalrim, is what it is. Not many of those beauties left in the world. Forging them is a lost art. The one Crescius borrowed came from the Skull Village up north. I, uh, traded them some goods for it. Okay. Um... Is Solthrim a type of uh, ore? Calling Stalrim an ore is like calling my forge a campfire. Some folks say it's enchanted ice, but I think there's more to it than that. I assume it's rare? I don't think I've come across more than a chunk or two in my lifetime, and smithing's my trade. If you're looking to learn more, you should head over to the Skull Village. Someone there's bound to know more about it than I do. Interesting. Hey, do you know someone called Murik? No, I... wait. Maybe. 
I don't know how I know that name. Uh, which is it, yes or no? I... I'm not sure. I don't want to talk about this. I wonder if some point in time we're going to find something that gives us a little bit more information. There is a dragon flying overhead. I'll give you this morning only once. Stay out of my way and we'll do just fine. Oh, come on. Okay, maybe he'll just kind of chill out while we kind of look around here. We'd be digging our houses out from beneath the ash by now. Okay, let's go back over here and see if we can talk to anybody else. But this lady. Oh, it's not a lady. Want to buy Dude. anything? Or just laugh at our misfortunes? Um do you sell any special mining gear? Mining gear? No. However, I used to sell East Empire pendants until I ran out of them. Popular little item. Whoa, I've got one of those. Uh, what's an East uh, Empire pendant? It's an amulet that was made exclusively for the East Empire company. They gave them to their workers as an incentive at one point, a kind of reward for extra effort. They're no longer being made, so they've become a collectible. I'd love to get my hands on a few of them. Where can I find them? They could be anywhere on the island. The mines might be a good place to start. If you find any while you're exploring Solstheim, bring them here, and I'll pay you for them. All right. Uh, I do have one. I didn't know what they were good for, so I'll need to bring one to them. Uh, what exactly do you sell here? The question you should be asking is, what don't I sell here? Mining gear? Because I have pretty much <laughs> any supplies you might need. If it's not a weapon, potion, or armor, then it's likely that I have it. Uh, where did you get all these items? Jarland, over at the docks, brings me most of my supplies. And the rest comes from bartering with the people in town. Oh, Glover Mallory gets me a few things once in a while. He usually has the most amazing deals that I can't pass up. Are the sales that bad out here? Bad? What if I told you that you're the first person that's even considered looking at my wares today? Oh, jeez. I've half a mind to contact my friends at the East Empire Company and see if they need an extra hand in Windhelm. That bad. You have friends at East at the East Empire Company? Oh, absolutely. In fact, I've corresponded with Vittoria Vici herself more than once. You know, the lady who runs the East Empire Company warehouse in Solitude. The biggest warehouse they have in Skyrim. Okay. Bah, you're just like the rest of the folks around here. Mark my words, the East Empire Company will return to Raven Rock, and when they do, I'll be at the top of their list. Okay. Uh, do you know someone called Mirak? I think I maybe had a dream about someone with that name. Tell me about your dream. It was very strange. Was I building something? A shrine down on the beach near the Earth Stone? I'm not sure. What do you have for sale? See for yourself. Yeah, let's take a look and see. So we got some heavy armor. What we have is better. Probably could upgrade our amulets a little bit. Uh, what about bolts? Arrows, 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 no bolts. Bolt stealer. Yeah, we've seen those. Got all of those tomes. Okay. The East Empire pendants are scattered all over. So leave no Welcome stone. to Raven Rock, Traveler. Could I interest you in any fine ash grown foods? What is what exactly is ash grown food? The Dunmer have been growing food in the Ashlands for thousands of years. It was born out of the necessity to survive in the harsh climate of our homeland. And now, with the constant eruptions of the Red Mountain, it's more important than ever. Is magic involved? No. Only the Tilvani have the ability to weave living growth from the ash. 
This simply takes the right ingredients, the right tools, and a lot of patience. You know someone called Murek? I think so, but I can't remember how I know him. Or maybe I'm wrong. I'm not sure. Do you know him or not? I'm not sure. I think so. But the only thing that comes to mind is a shrine near the Earth Stone. Yeah. Uh, what do you have for sale? Well, take a look at what I have, and maybe we can make a deal. Probably just sells food, right? Yeah. Oh, and skins. He does have a lockpick. We'll take the lockpick. Next time you're hungry, stop by. Okay, so I think we talked to all the merchants in the city. Abandoned building. Confession of Dunmar Skuma Eater. Let me go ahead and toggle my lantern on. I don't know why it's off. It looks like some people have been wadding here. Oh, it's stealing. Oh, another book. Take that one. So I've been calling the, the, the place wrong. It's Solstein. Sol Solstein, Stein, Solstein. Let's go over here to the Earth Rock. I know we visited a long time ago, so I just kind of want to revisit things. Can we Our do something? Activate stone. Oh, that's right. Fascinating. By touching the stone, you appear to have fallen under whatever influence is affecting and the other. The world shall listen. That's right. I, I remembered. You start working. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. So that's that. When the world shall see. Apparently I got some dialogue stuck on the screen. No! <laughs> what is this? Can I help you? Uh Who who spoke? Oh, over here. Yes, hello. My always nice to speak to someone from the mainland. Yeah, do you know someone called Mirak? Mirak. Mirak. I'm sure I've heard that name before, haven't I? Was it in a dream? Hmm. Okay, you don't know either. What's down here? Kind of a cool little manor here. Got a basement with everything to work on, some practice dummies to test out your your craft. Storage area. This kind of looks like at some point in time could be ours, isn't it? Bunch of play cases. Very cool. Would be kind of cool if it became ours. Okay. I think we're going to start heading in the direction of our marker here. Um, Ardolf's house. Let me just double check this on...
Yeah, right here. But let's go ahead and remove our marker. And then as we go, we'll just kind of explore. Can we go in these? Oh, the wretching Netch. Is this a bar? Oh, yeah. Modin Vela. Welcome to the Wretching Netch Corner Club, home of a finest Sue Jammer that will ever grace your lips. Oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry, Gildas. Uh, let's see here. Your inn has an unusual name. There's actually a funny story behind the name, friend. A few years ago, I was walking down by the docks, and I noticed a Dunmer staggering along with a bottle of Sujama in hand. He was one of my patrons and liked to drink heavily, so I wasn't exactly surprised. Doesn't sound, uh, doesn't sound unusual. Ah. But you see, this particular Dunmer was as naked as the day he was born and singing <laughs> badly at the top of his lungs. As I'm watching this spectacle, a Netch floats over the bulwark towards him. The man looks straight up at the Netch, yells, have a drink, and tosses the bottle. And it never hit the ground. What did the Netch do? Well, the bottle broke on the Netch, and it must have swallowed its contents because it started floating sort of tilted. Finally, it stopped and began to quiver. A few moments later, the foulest liquid to ever assail your nostrils spewed from its maw. Uh. I've seen plenty of drunks in me day, and I'll tell you right now, that Netch was sick. What is a Netch? Uh, now I get it. True story, friend. True story. Very enlightening. Uh, so what's the specialty of the house? The finest who jam it across your lips, friend. My own personal formula that I call Sadri Sujama. Jama. In fact, I've just added some new ingredients to the mixture that I think makes it taste better than ever. All I need to do is get the word out that it's ready, and they'll flock here for it. I can help you spread the word. I was kind of hoping you'd say that. Here, take these samples of the Sujama and spread the word. If you get rid of all of them, there's something extra in it for you. Interesting. So who are we supposed miserable. to give it Just to? Miserable. Oh, I hate this place. Why are you this here? This island's nothing but a pile of rubble. What's the point trying to make a life here? Here, try this new drink. At least my father will let me drink whatever I want without complaining. Tell Geldis I appreciate it. Sweet. Um. You don't like it here in uh, Sultan? Sultan? Don't like it. I hate it. Every day it's the same thing. We open the shop, we hardly sell a thing, we close the shop and go to sleep. What kind of a life is that? Why not to return to Morrowind? Oh, believe me. I'd be on the first ship of this sorry. miserable island if I could. But I'm not sure I could do that to my father. I think it would break his heart. We've already lost my mother. I don't want to leave him alone. Hmm. How did your mother die? We lived in a settlement, perhaps a league from the border of Black Marsh, the homeland of the Argonians. Even though the Argonian invasion ended a long time ago, Captain there are still Zell, a few scale-skinned clans that live within our borders. To put it simply, the they attacked our settlement and slaughtered almost everyone. It was horrible. Sounds like you've had a rough day. Mm. That There's sucks. No How do you know, uh, do you know someone called Mirka? I think so. But I'm not sure Mirac? where I heard the name. So where do you hail? Uh, is there anything you can tell me? I don't know why, but I'm thinking about a temple here on the island. Yeah, that's what everybody's saying. Maybe it was just a bad dream. Keep yourself safe. Soul Who wants a drink? My wife and I are doing the best we can to keep Raven Rock fed. Here's another drink. Always a pleasure to taste anything Geldis comes up with. Next time you're hungry, stop by. I always, always glad to help. Have a drink. Not today. Too no. many things on my mind. Well, how dare you? Pleasant journey, Samuel. Thank you for that. 
question is, who did I give a drink already to? Yet? Nope, but I have a drink for you. Perfect. I was just thinking about heading over for a drink. Thanks for saving me the trip. <laughs> I think I'm saving him. Crushes, he better give Here. that pickaxe back to me. Oh, no, else. thank you. I need to keep my head clear. Remember. We it gets lonely out here, you know. On this remote island. Uh... <laughs> she implying something? Have a well, drink. Tell Geldus that Miri says she really appreciates it. Moving on. All right, we talked to her already. I'd be on the first ship off this island if I had the coin. Well, have a drink. Elvis needs to bottle this up and send it to the mainland instead of wasting his time out here. His drinks are outstanding. Thanks. Five of them. I think we we got everybody here in the same uh, same place, so this worked out really perfect. I think there's just sleeping quarters I think that's everybody it would be my pleasure to help you any way that I can oh wait if you look able to venture outside of town perhaps you you're new we recover something precious that was lost yeah first have a drink oh how kind thank Geldus for me won't you uh you mentioned that you lost something a few months ago, I had sent an important folio to the first edition bookshop in the Imperial City to be rebound. They sent it back to me recently, but it never arrived. Was it aboard a ship? Yes, the Strident Squall, or something like that. The damn thing sunk right off the coast of Solstheim. Can you imagine? How do you know? One of the sailors survived. Poor thing crawled all the way to Raven Rock on his hands and knees. Before he died, he told the Redoran guard about the wreck and warned us that it was going to be crawling with reavers. I'll see if I can find the book for you. Thank you. You have no idea how much it hurts losing such a precious heirloom. My husband is second counselor, so I certainly have the means to reward you if you find my folio. Oh, really? Your visit here would be tolerated as long as you abide by our laws. Otherwise, uh, yeah, we already gave you a drink, you a drink, you a drink. All right, every, everything. I think everybody here has got a drink. I think it was like good timing. Uh, we've got what? A few more to give. Serve House Redrin or serve no one. Yeah, Captain. The security of both Raven no, Rock he doesn't and need Morbane is my primary concern. So there's a couple citizens. Uh, oh, this this lady here didn't uh, didn't get a drink. Okay, uh, where let's let's head on this direction here. If you've got any maybe uh, some people at the dock we can give the drinks to. Yeah, they'll they'll love the drinks. Hi. Yeah, here's a drink. There's nothing finer than dark elf Sujama. Like Sujama. Sweet. Seven. May the wind be at your back. You want a drink? Northern Maiden is ship shape and ready to go. Nope. You want a drink? Northern Maiden is ship shape and ready to go. Nope. Looking for something to lend a hand with. We have problems of plenty in Raven Rock. Okay, let's go. I think this here. Is the temple. Though our spirits may be low and danger lurks beyond the light, I am confident that they will never abandon us again. Are you here to pray? Or perhaps pay your respects at our ancestral tomb? What are the ancestral tombs? They're where we inter our dead. They are sacred places. Meant to honor their passing. Sadly, we've been unable to use the ancestral tomb beneath the temple as of late, and have resorted to other locations to scatter the remains. Why can't you use the tomb? Those foul vermin, the abominations we call ash spawn, have risen from the ashes of our own ancestors. They are befouling the memories of our forefathers by defiling their remains. Oh, jeez. 
Uh, I'll cleanse a tomb for you. Thank you, Wanderer. That would be most kind. Here, this key should open the door to the tomb. Cool. Uh, how do the Dunmer bury their dead? The Dunmer race doesn't bury their dead or leave them to rot inside a stone sarcophagus. When a Dunmer passes, his body is given to fire so he might return to the ash from whence he came. The Dunmer don't believe that death is the end. We believe that it's the beginning. Uh, what exactly are the reclamations? The reclamations are the true tribunal, the Daedra that consecrate the Dunmer people, Azura, Methala, and Boethia. We call them the true tribunal because they have reclaimed their place in our hearts from the false tribunal that came before. The false tribunal? Sotha, Sil, Amalexia, and Vivek represent what was beings who won the Dunmer people's hearts with their actions, but blinded them just the same. They were aberrations, false prophets. They used their status as heroes to shield the true tribunal from our minds. But now that they've been destroyed, the light can finally shine upon the House of Reclamations. Interesting. Do you... Do you know someone called Mirak? Hmm. Sounds like something from a dream, and yet it might be more... strange. What sort of dream? I remember a temple on Solstein, and working to build something. It, uh... It was not a pleasant dream. Hmm. Okay. Let's, uh, we can go down to the tomb. I was kind of hoping you'd eat something, or drink the... With no regard for compassion. You would drink... The Sojama. Okay, I'm guessing the tombs are down here. The History of Raven Rock, Volume 1. Forward. Raven Rock is one of the more interesting colonies of Morrowind of the last two century of the last two centuries. So much has happened to this tiny town in such a short amount of time, and so many lives have been affected by it. I felt the nece necessary felt it necessary to describe its rich history within these volumes during my research. I've lived in Raven Rock for almost three years and i've got to know i got to know many of my fellow dunmar who call raven rock their home i hope that my readers will appreciate the amount of fortitude and preserve perseverance uh, <laughs> that is that it must take to endure life in such an hospitable and untamed land so it just gives a little bit of backstory on raven rock I will... Can I pick this up without stealing it? Yes, it's stealing, so... I don't want to steal it. A little bit more about the Reclamation, the Fall of the Tribunal, and the Rise of the New Temple. This must be his room. There's someone humming. Oh, hello. Who are you? Excuse me, but the temple is for followers of our faith alone. Elder Arthraloth is grooming me to be his eventual replacement. Soon I'll be running the temple my way. Well, first, have a drink. Get that vile <laughs> liquid away from me. Uh, okay. Non-believers are never welcome here. Blacksmith confessional. Travel to the forge in... Whoa. Oh, yeah, we already know about this. Uh, Kenro was a strange one, always stalking about pursuing my wares, but never buying. 
I asked him if he wanted a sword, and he'd and he'd say not today. But I asked him if he'd had a, uh, if he'd fancy a set of armor, and again said not today. Every day for a month, the same song and dance. Not today, not tomorrow, not ever, or so I thought. One day, I opened the opened the shop, check my wares, and f- and find a mistake in the shipment. Inside the crate is an odd blue gem, lumped in with an unusual iron and steel. Figuring it for a mistake, I was about to send it back when Kerno Ken Kenro, sorry. Uh, walks into the store. I give him the unusual or the us- usual greeting and I ask him if he wants to buy some wares, fully expecting him to say the words not today. But to my surprise, he doesn't. Today, he wants to buy. He doesn't want to buy a sword or a shield. He wants to buy a gem or the gem. As he hands me the coin, I get a strange feeling in the pit of my stomach, like this is the last time I'll see him. So I asked him where he'd be heading. He tells me he's going to see a blacksmith. Not sure if there if that's a joke, seeing as I run the forge. When I ask him which smith, he tells me the dwarven one. In Yeah, you know that place. In in Bell Brathers. Something like that. My face goes white. Enro says, You look like you've seen a ghost. I say to I say to him, No, have you? He just smiled. I can actually take that book. Very cool. So that is the start. Search the treasure of Was that? From this book? Arkin Death Brand was dying. Yeah, we got a quest from this. A Gurk Win a Windrum uh, shipped quartermaster. It was unsinkable. His grandfather had served under Eckner nigh on 60 years before and even then he was a league among the pirates of the north the king of the ghosts they called him as the eternal and pitless uh, pitiless as the sea he sailed to Borek who had seen him charge into battle clad in armor of gleaming uh, stalarim like the king of the old his twin swords Scything men like grass, Harkin was practically a god, but none feared Harkin more than the, his own crew. They knew his rage, his fits of madness, how he delighted in torture and murder for his own sake. And there were, were even darker rumors. Some said he fed upon the blood and souls of those he killed to extend his unnatu- unnatural life. Some thought him as a Daedra loosed upon the, na- uh, the mortal world. And others said his own uh, said he owned his life and power, or he owed his life and power, his armor and the sword to a pact of with drag, to a pact with dragon, no Dagon, sorry, a pact with Dagon, uh, prince of destruction, and the seal of that pact was the terrible wound that scarred his face, never to heal, the death brand which no man could look upon without flinching. All these things ran through uh, Garak's mind as he took his place on the deck at the head of the crew, exchanging a uh, a curt nod with Thalen, Thalen, yeah, Thalen, the ship's helmsman, and his crew rival, or chief rival, this, by sundown, he thought one of them would be captain, the other would be dead. When Harkin Hack, Hack, <laughs> Heckner, sorry, uh, finally emerged from his cabin, the crew fell silent. He looked frail, his voice raspy. Even so, he had the presence about him. 
As he looked over his men, the most brutal murderers ever to ply the northern sea, not one could meet his gaze. At last he sighed. You wish to know who will be my successor and how my share of treasures shall be divided. That was the question that even so, there was murmurs of protest. Eckner cut them off. All these years I have looked for one of one who was worthy to take my place, or strong enough to take it from me. Not one of you ever comes close, so none of you shall have it. He extended his hand. In Dagon's name, I placed a curse on upon my armor and my sword, this ship and all it carries. Till the day when one of you can best me in combat, you shall have not one single coin. He looked up at them. Be grateful I have left you with your lives. Grok in Thalen shared a single glance. Had anyone else said such a thing, there would have been a mutiny. A hundred treasure mad pirates against one old man? But this is Hack, uh, Hackner. The crew is silent. Hackner threw a map at uh, Gurek's feet. Barak, take a longboat and bury my armor in the, in the places I have marked. Thalen, we sail to my tomb, where you shall leave me with my god. Then burn your ship and do as I will as you will. I am your captain no more. And with that, he turned stock back to his quarters. At daybreak, uh, Garuk took his leave and set out to, in the longboat with three of his men. They landed on the shoal. At, uh, to the north of Solston. Sorry. Sol <laughs> I, I don't know why I can't say this. Solstein. It's Solstein. Stein. Stein. It's Stein. Solstein. I always want to say Solstein. Solstein. At the place of Akron had marked, made camp, and began to dig. But already greed stirred in Garrick's heart. Time and time. Time again. Time and again. He glanced at the iron-bound chest he had brought with them. The old man was gone, perhaps already dead, his orders foolish. That night, Gurak pried open the chest and drew out the, the helm within, and Stalth Stalth Rim uh, sheemed in the moonlight. It was time, time for a new king of, of ghosts to rise. He placed the helm on his head, and he screamed. And it is said, you can hear the scream still on the moonlit nights on the rocky shoal off the north northern coast of Solstein. Stein. Postscript. This story is one of the last in the Hecarin saga, the tale surrounding the life and the adventure of the legendary pi pirate king Eknar. Eckner as uh, death or death brand. How much of it was actually true, if indeed any of it's true, I leave to the reader's discretion. Oh man, that's really cool. Okay, um, let's look at the map real quick. Was is there right there? Okay, okay, okay. That's cool. That's very, very cool. Uh, I'm glad I kind of clicked on that because I wasn't going to. Alright, let's go clean this tomb out. I'm going to get ready. I'm guessing we're going to have... We have friends. Who's... You knew I heard something. Ah! He just heal himself. Oh, 
Whoa, what is going on with the explosions? Oh, this guy's doing it. Oh, we got more incoming. some help. All right. Uh, we got more coming. Oh, skirmisher. There we go. Hey, how'd you guys like my new uh, shield movements there? Not too bad, huh? Oh, there you have a lot of ore that they drop. Okay, is that the way out or is there more to this? Some gems too. Hold on. I want to explore this a little bit. Okay, that's empty. That's empty. Yeah, I think... Can we go further in? That goes out, I'm guessing, to Skyrim. Garlic. That's a good place to store your garlic is down in a burial. Well, I guess they use it, they would use it for uh, definitely not yams. <laughs> They're just using this for food storage as well. All right, let's head back up. Expert that goes out. They get turned around. I definitely got turned around. Which way is out? Help me. Okay, yeah, I think this way this way because she was fighting some guys back at the, the front entrance yeah temple perfect I could probably look at the map probably tell me uh, it's safe oh we gotta go oh no he should be in here no he's not that's right, I need to go upstairs. Or at least go out here. No. Is it nighttime? Maybe he's sleeping. Yeah, they're sleeping. I am Arthraloth, elder of the reclamations and keeper of this temple. 
Uh, the temple's tomb has been cleansed. Spirits be praised. I'm hoping you didn't suffer much at the hands of those foul beings. No, not at all. Please, accept this as a token of my thanks. Oh, thousand gold. Sure. May Azura, Mafala, and Boethia guide you. Thank you very much. Have a great day. I don't think we ever explored up here. That's just the wall. All right, so I think we pretty much explored Raven Rock to its extent. I want to put down that. So I think the next would be to head on down to here. We didn't, we definitely did not get to where I wanted to go in this episode, um, but I wanted to make sure that we explored everything inside the city before we moved on. Uh, I'm probably missing something. Like these houses. Oh, okay, so here's the ancestral tombs. We could have went that way as well. If I miss something that's in really important, yeah, these are going to be the tombs. Yeah. Uh, let me know. Why you'd leave your own land behind a venture here is beyond me. Oh, we have Such another manor here. Let's uh, let's head on here. Oh, they got some guards. This is a really nice manor. Oh. Chamber. Um, Maybe it would be open up during the day? Okay. We do have a couple drinks that we need to give away. Not sure who would be the one to drink them. Yeah, this was the other... That's the abandoned building. That's the manor that we went into that was empty. Alright. Guys, I think Raven Rock is completely... You know, kind of explored. The only thing that I can think of would be the mine. Maybe, maybe let's go check here quick before I I end the episode here. Maybe we'll find oh East Empire Company here. Damn it, woman! I said to leave me be. Precious, last time you explored the mine, you almost fell to your death. I'm not spending the rest of my days as a widow. And I'm telling you that I'll do whatever it takes to find my great-grandfather's remains. He's down here. I can feel it. That was almost two centuries ago. There may be nothing left to find. Just let me go, woman. Precious, you're an obstinate old fool and you're going to get yourself killed. I can help. My apologies for Cretius's ravings. Uh, have a drink? Oh, that sounds lovely. Thank you. What are you arguing with uh, Croesus about? That foolish old man thinks he's 30 years younger than he is. He's going to get himself killed traipsing around the mine. Why is he exploring the mine? He's convinced himself that there's some sort of conspiracy involving the East Empire Company and the mine's closure. He came across some old letters that belonged to his great-grandfather in our house. And he believes every word written in them. Ooh, interesting. Uh, what did the letters say? Precious's great-grandfather worked for the East Empire Company. The letters mention some sort of discovery he was sent to investigate. There's really nothing remarkable in the letters. I don't know what he's so excited about. Hmm. Uh, who is Croesus's, uh great-grandfather? Gratian Corellius. He was an explorer for the East Empire Company. They'd send him all over Tamriel when they had difficulties in a mining operation. Poor man. Can you imagine doing all that dangerous work just to end up dying at your own doorstep? Well, if it makes you happy, what happened to him? 
was a horrible accident, and he was killed when one of the tunnels collapsed. They were never even able to go down there and recover the body. The East Empire Company sealed that section off to prevent any more tragedies. Cretius is convinced it's a story cooked up by the company to cover up something else, but I don't know. Probably. Uh, do you agree with Cresus? My beloved is almost 80 years old, and I think the shock of finding one of his ancestors' things has left his mind a bit confused. I love him dearly, and I support everything he does, but I can't let him chase this silly idea, or he may end up joining Gratian in a rocky grave. Okay. How did you meet him? To understand how we met one another, you have to appreciate what he's going through. Cretius is a third generation miner. All his life, he's lived and breathed nothing else. And for your lungs. By the time Cretius <laughs> came of age, the ebony mine in Raven Rock was shut down. He took that quite hard. Why didn't he move somewhere else to find work? Our home has been in his family for over 200 years. Leaving would have been like abandoning precious memories. Instead, he stayed on Soul's yeah. time and spent most of his life prospecting for a new ebony source. Sadly, it never surfaced. A decade ago, this drove him into a deep depression. He shut himself inside his home and refused to come out. Hmm. This is where you met? It was. After refusing to allow anyone to bring him food. Counselor Morvane ordered his door to be knocked down before Cretius starved to death. Wow. I was a temple priest at the time, and they had me use my healing arts to restore strength to his ailing body. I stayed for a while and cared for him. Then, I suppose we fell in love. Interesting. Okay, so she can train me restoration You've magic. already learned all I can teach you. Okay, so she can't train me anymore. Uh, you're a priest at the temple. Far from it. In fact, I'm no longer welcome there. Why? In all honesty, it came down to a disagreement between what I believe and what Elder Othraloth believes. I'd prefer not to get into the details, but let's just say our opinions about the current status of the tribunal vary widely. Ooh, so she was kind of the, probably the backer of the original? And he didn't like that. Um, do you know someone called Mirak? I think so, but from where? Yeah, everybody's having that same know. thing. Try to remember. It's difficult. Something about it doesn't feel right. Uh, a temple here on the island. That's all I can recall. Yeah. All right. Be careful out there. Who in the blazes are you? Can't you see I'm busy? Uh, busy doing what? Why should I tell you? I don't even know who you are. I'm a friend. Um, perhaps I can help. Hmm. Maybe. Been difficult trusting people lately. They think I'm crazy. But mark my words, these mines hold a secret that could put Ravenrock back on the map. What sort of secret would be hidden here? A secret the East Empire Company swept under the rug two centuries ago. It killed my great-grandfather and left Ravenrock with a worthless and tainted mine. So I already know whose great-grandfather great was. Uh, let's ask about the East Empire Company. You never heard of them? Yeah, we have. They're the largest trading company in Tamriel, originally chartered by the Emperor of Cyrodiil himself. Who is your great-grandfather? Gratian Kyrelius. He spent his entire life exploring ancient ruins across Tamriel. And he died in these very mines almost 200 years ago. How did he die? The East Empire Company called it a terrible accident, claiming that he was lost in a rockfall. But I know better. What's your proof? My wife and I were cleaning out our home, and we came across some of my great-grandfather's things locked in an old chest. I found an unsent letter he'd written to the East Empire Company, and a key. What did the letter say? It describes a discovery that was made in the mine by some of the diggers. They wanted Gratian to take a closer look. 
The East Empire Company must have felt it was of great value, as they locked that section of the mine off from everyone else. Uh, the key is to the lock section? It is. Well, I assume it is. I haven't been able to find the entrance. Uh, I admit that this does sound suspicious. Finally, someone who believes me. I'm telling you, there's something big down there. Something that the East Empire Company wanted to hide from everyone. Uh, why are you telling me all this? Look, my wife nags that I'm too old to go traipsing around these mines chasing my story. Time's my enemy. It's caught up with me before I could find the answers that I'm looking for. So do you... do you need my help? I do. I want to know what happened to Gratian, and what the East Empire Company is keeping from all of us. Any idea where to start? Gratian kept a journal of notes about his discoveries. If you can find his remains, I'm hoping it will help. Here's everything I have. The letter, the key. Please, do this for me, so I can finally regain the respect that I've lost. Awesome. Okay, uh, first, have a drink. Hmm. He's begging for patrons again, eh? Well, I suppose I could have just a bit. I hope it's not poisoning everybody. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something that everybody just, like, ends up just dying off? Are you sure uh, Gratian's death wasn't an accident? Look, I know I don't have much to go on. I have that unsent letter, and that's really it. But I also have a miner's instinct that's run in my family from before Gratian was even born. I may sound like a crazy old man to you, but I'm telling you, the tunnels here are solid. They would never collapse like that. Uh, why were you arguing with, uh, Ifia? She thinks that old age has addled my mind, that I'm seeing things when there's nothing to be seen. I realize she cares about me, but she has to understand that I can't rest until I find out what happened to Gratian. Uh, what if she's right I, and I don't find anything? Then I'll settle down peacefully and never set foot in this mine again. I've been waiting for this moment for a long time, even before I discovered Gratian's old things. I just hope both of you don't mistake my enthusiasm for insanity. Uh, Glover wants his ancient Nordic pickaxe back. The damn fool doesn't even deserve to have it. The pickaxe was made for mining, not selling. I'll bet he stole it from the Skull in the first place. Uh... Interesting. Okay, so we... We can either say, uh... It doesn't belong to you. Fine, you keep it. I mean, if he bought it, then... It's his. Uh, let me think about this. Good. Now let me get back to what I was doing. Uh, do you know someone called Mirak? Er, I recognize the name. Er, Mirak. But I don't know how I know it. It sounds so familiar. Tell me anything you can. It's so strange. I feel like it's from a dream. Something about the earth stone and a shrine. That's it. Yeah. That's all I can think of. Yeah, no one else can tell me about anything there. either. Mine can be treacherous. All right, guys. I am going to be ending the episode here. Uh, I'm going to try to remember that I do have a note right here. Actually, let's read the note quick. It, it, it won't be long. I Yeah, it's not very long. Creation, I would appreciate if you could help. Uh, us with the situation we've encountered in Raven Rock. It seems that the miners that there have stumbled across some sort of rune under the surface near Shaft 3. We need your expertise to l take a look. You could send someone else if you're busy, but I figured you'd want to go since it, I seem to recall you're the original, or you're originally from Sult... Sultan. <laughs> Sultine. I am... Uh, Man, I'm going to have to write that phonetically down. Old Solstein. Uh, let us know if you make any progress. And then Rendellus. Interesting. Okay. 
I'm going to end the episode here, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I guys, I hope you like this episode. If you do, uh, smash that like button. It really, really helps out the channel. Uh, again, we're trying to get about 50, uh, 50 likes per video. So we can do that. That'd be great. Um, also, check out our other playthroughs that we're going through right now. We Part have... Of the of the mine. I've never been able to get them. Excuse me. Uh, we, we have the Long Dark Survival as well as Star Wars Jedi uh, Fallen Order. Both are really awesome uh, games. The The Long Dark is going to be a something that we're not going to be constantly being playing. So um, if you are new here and you do like that series, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification so that you're notified when it does come out. Um, right now, I, I kind of record them in like an, like an hour and a half and they're 30 minute episodes. So um they'll be they'll probably be like three per batch of recording and um but they'll be spaced out a couple days so uh, if you guys like something like that it's going to be survival in a cold blizzard uh kind of hellish uh environment post-apocalyptic kind of thing um it's pretty pretty cool i i panicked uh at the very beginning of the the first well first two episodes i guess i'm pretty much in panic mode because <laughs> i'm pretty much dying the whole time but uh it's great fun if you guys want to check it out i'd really appreciate it and uh yeah uh thank you guys for all for your support i really appreciate it um and we'll see you guys next time thanks for watching